It may soon be easier and more affordable to get access to legal justice with proposed changes to the way cases are funded. Calling it a significant move by the government, Law Minister Keishan Mugam said these will strengthen Singapore's position as an international dispute resolution hub. He was speaking at the launch of the Law Society's new office at Maxwell Chambers Suites. At the launch, Mr. Shanmugam said that the use of third-party funding could be expanded. It's only permitted for international arbitration currently, but the law ministry is considering allowing it for domestic arbitration, prescribed proceedings in the Singapore International Commercial Court, as well as mediations. He's also considering introducing conditional fee agreements, or CFAs, for domestic and international arbitrations. This means lawyers will only receive payment if the claim is successful. We think this will again help in the arbitration work and strengthen our position as a dispute resolution hub and also level the playing field between our lawyers and uh, foreign lawyers because they are able to offer such agreements where you know, CFAs are permitted. So we are studying whether CFAs can be uh, expanded to some other categories of domestic proceedings in order to promote access to justice. People that may be, you know, illiquid or may have um, some, some issues with solvency will now be able to explore models all in. I think it creates more options. I think um, it, it helps those that are struggling financially uh, to find um, workable solutions. Mr. Shanmugam added that the government will continue to provide funding support to the Law Society on top of a lower rental rate at Maxwell Chambers in recognition of the role that the Society has played in Singapore.